everybody, and welcome back to the next episode in my dialing in series for our Line 6 Helix. Uh, this is my first video, or actually pair of videos for the new year. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season, great new year, great Christmas, uh, and welcome to 2020, where I'm going to be continuing with my dialing in series, as well as a whole bunch of uh, YouTube uh, content that I have planned. We got NAM coming up next week. That's always going to be uh, exciting and great to see all uh, the fine folks out there at Line 6 and just uh, my other online friends that uh, we don't get to, to meet up too often with. So I'm looking forward to that. But today I'm going to take a look at an amp model that I've never looked at before. There's not too many of them left until we get some new ones, <clears throat> hopefully sometime in the near future. Um, it's the Line 6 electric amp. So this is a Line 6 original amp. From what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong about this, I believe it is similar to the uh, Bogner Überschall, which is the uh, uh, German Ubersonic amp model. Uh, from what I understand, I don't know the details there, so don't quote me on that. But anyways, it does have that sort of vibe to it. It's a high gain amp. I really, really enjoyed playing around with this. And I messed with a few different things on this one. There were a lot of fun. Now, as I always, I always do a performance video. Uh, and for this one, as I was right, uh, making the preset, I don't know why, but the, uh, the song Mr. Scary by Dawkins or George Lynch uh, from the Dawkins Back for the Attack album popped into my mind. And I, again, not that I'm saying I'm even coming in the ballpark of even trying or attempting to create that tone. I didn't. I was just making a tone. And that's the song that popped in my head. So I thought, well, let's use that to recreate the entire production So uh, of Mr. Scary. So I had a really great backing track where I could remove all the guitars <clears throat> off of it. And I have, uh, from what it sounds like, the original uh, drums and bass. And so I went in and, to the to the best of my ability, recreated all of the guitar parts uh, from Mr. Scary, uh, utilizing just this preset with no post-processing in the mix. So that video is up now. Please go take a look at it. Let me know what you think. It was fun to, to do. What I did is I used my Line 6 Variax JTV 89F, uh, just with the magnetic pickups though. Uh, that's what I used to dial this in just because it was a guitar that was sitting beside me when I started working on it. There was no other thought that went into it and it just worked and it sounded really good. So let's dive over to HX set and take a look and see what I did with this preset. So as we can see here, um, <clears throat> I used a typical <coughs> compressor at the end, LA Studio Comp that I always use. Very typical settings for me, peak reduction at 5.5, gain at five, uh, mix at 100%. Uh, EQ on this was just simply used for the high and low cuts, but it's part of my template, so I just leave it there. Uh, low cut at 100 hertz, high cut at 10 kilohertz, all right? A little dab of room reverb, decay of five, pre-delay of 15 milliseconds, mix of 30%, just to add a little bit of ambience to the sound. I do have a delay on here as well, which is typical from my... Um, uh, templates. It's the transistor tape. It's only turned on in the performance video for the lead tracks. The rhythm tracks were played without it, okay? But when it is on, and I have it assigned, there's no snapshots on this on this preset. I have it assigned in pedal board mode or stomp mode or whatever you want to call it uh, to be able to turn that off via foot switch if you need it and want to kick it in for your leads on this preset. Uh, so note sync to quarter notes. Um, I tap this tempo in 113.9 to match roughly match the backing track. I always like, as I've mentioned before in a lot of videos, I always like my delays to be in time with the song and tempo, right? So I set these to quarter note, 113.9. Feedback at 23%, mix of 25%. Pretty typical settings that I like uh, for my delay. I did use a low and high shelf EQ. Uh, all the frequencies below 650 hertz were dialed back by a single dB, just one, not much going on there. But I did crank up all the frequencies above two kilohertz by five dB. Um, George's sound on Mr. Scary when I was comparing the mixes to the sound I did. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't listening to that song and trying to get his sound at all. Like it's not even designed to even be in the ballpark of it. Uh, in case anybody's wondering about that, uh, George's has a lot of bite and a lot of high end, more so than this. But this just gives a different take on that uh, in that mix, right? So it's kind of fun to do. So that's what I had on the on the uh, low and high shelf. Now, as far as the cabs go, I tried to do something a little fun here that I haven't done in a while. So I used a split AB block uh, with a 412 greenback 25 on path A and a 412 greenback 25 on path B. But on path A, I mic'd it with a 421 dynamic mic, uh, three and a half inches back. 
And on path B, I mic'd it with a 121 ribbon mic three and a half inches back. And what I did is I blended that <laughs> so that on the split AB path, we were on a setting of A60. So it seems to be about, you know, seven, I guess, judging by this visually, 75% of it's going to be the cab with the 421 dynamic and about 25% of it's going to be the ribbon mic just to add some warmth and bottom while retaining some bite on it. I just found that worked really nice for this. And how about the amp settings? Well, the amp settings are the uh, Line 6 electric amp, as I mentioned, with the drive on 6, bass on 2.5, mid on 4.2, treble on 6.1, presence on 7.1, channel volume at 7.5, master at 4.5, SAG on 2.7, Ripple on 5, Bias on five, 6, and Bias X on 5. I don't believe, but I, it's been a while since I actually made this sound, so I don't believe I touched the deeper functions, but don't quote me on that. It, sometimes when enough time goes by, I kind of actually forget what it is exactly that I did on these. So, But that's what we have for now. Um, so let's do this. Let's turn everything off here as far as effects and EQ and compression and everything. Let's just listen to what the amp model sounds like. Going through the first cab with the dynamic mic. So let's remember the A60 setting, but I'm gonna move this all the way over. So all we're hearing right now is the 412 green back uh, with the 421 dynamic mic three and a half inches back. And that sounds like this. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Let's now change it over so that we get nothing but the 121 ribbon mic three and a half inches back. <laughs> Obviously much darker. Now what happens when we blend those two to the final place where I actually decided to leave them, which was at A60, it sounds like this. <laughs> That's what we end up with. So not bad. Now let's bring the compressor in at the end. So I always like that glue it adds, so that was nice. Uh, we'll bring in our high and low cuts. Kind of polishes it up a bit. We'll bring in the reverb. We'll bring in the shelf. So again, all the frequencies below uh, 650 hertz down by one dB, all the frequencies above two kilohertz up by five dB. Before that, after that. Right, so that is basically it. Uh, if I add that delay in. So 
which adds a nice little bit of ambience as a lot of folks that follow my channel know I don't use huge amounts of delay. I just like it to help it sit in the mix a little bit better. So all of the tones you've been hearing so far were with the Variax turned on. In the actual performance video I used for Mr. Scary, I used the magnetic pickup. So I had that set to the Lester setting uh, inside uh, the Variax, the stock Lester setting. So with that turned off now and the mag pickups on, that's what this tone sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so I really liked it both ways and I wanted to give you just a little bit of a sample of how it sounded. So remember in the performance video though, I do have just the magnetic pickups turned on for all the uh, tracks and it is all the leads have the delay on and all the rhythms do not. So, so I hope you guys like that preset. Um, go take a listen to the performance video so you can hear what it sounds like in the mix and I hope you enjoy the performance as well. Uh, this will be up on custom tone by the time this video posts so feel free to go grab that and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it sounds good for you. Make whatever tweaks you need to to it to fit your ideals, your guitar, your monitoring system, you know, all the standard disclaimers, right? It's very difficult to ever make a preset that's gonna work perfectly for for everybody in every situation as far as monitoring systems, guitars, playing style, playing touch, pick attack, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I hope these get in the ballpark and with a few little tweaks, such as, you know, maybe changing our low and high shelf a little bit or minor tweaks to the amp, we can get it to sit really well for everybody. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this as the first uh, offering for me for uh, the year 2020 and there'll be plenty more to come. Uh, I have a really interesting video kind of based off of this one coming up later this week if all goes uh, as planned. So I also have a bunch of uh, presets available on Line 6 Marketplace. Uh, for those who want to support what I do, I really appreciate you grabbing those. It really helps me to keep doing these free ones as well. Um, and so I really appreciate the support and you get some, some what I feel are pretty good presets uh, that are going to work for recording live, you know, and all the situations that you're likely to need. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for your time. Please like the video, share it if you don't mind, spread the word. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ready. And again, I always appreciate the, the comments. Uh, even if I don't have time to answer them all, it's nothing personal. It's just time has been, uh, it's been tough to get to them all. So I'm going to do my best to, to answer as many as I can, but I do appreciate the comments and the kind words and the support. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll talk very soon. Ciao for now.